Greeting to all of you, it's a pleasure to meet you again on 22 Hours channel. In today's new program, we will bring you the latest and hot news update from the domestic and international science. Now, please join us for the following news highlights. 25 dead and 5 missing in Fujian floods Ministry of Interior begins three-level response sex and human news agency, Beijing. August State reporter Wu Jingjing The flood disaster that occurred in Fujian in recent days has left 25 people dead and 5 missing. The Ministry of Internal Affairs launched a three-level response at 1700 hours on the 7th and sent a joint disaster relief team to Fujian on the morning of the 8th. Since June, Fujian province has suffered from continuous torrential rains, causing simultaneous flooding in several rivers in the north-central and western regions. From May 2028 to June 2, the main affected areas were Longyan, Samming, Chuanzhou, Ning, Futso, Namping, and six other cities, with 1,264,500 people affected. 51,000 people had to be urgently displaced, 19,100 houses collapsed, 22 people died. From August 4 to 7, the main disaster affected areas are Nindak and Nambin, with 1,635,400 people affected. 356,200 emergency evacuations, 9,300 houses collapsed, 36,445 people. Damaged houses, three dead and five missing due to natural disaster. According to the National Emergency Plan for Disaster Relief, the Ministry of Home Affairs launched a four-level disaster response at 1600 hours on August 2. Due to the rapid development of the disaster, the level of response deputy has been raised to three levels. 5 o'clock day 7 according to a person in charge of the ministry of the interior the joint working group was led by vice minister of the interior Zhongli and included relevant officials from the ministry of communications the ministry of agriculture the ministry of finance the ministry of health and the ministry of health ministry of land and resources the general staff of the people's liberation army and the red cross society of china the Ministry of Home Affairs will pay attention to the disaster situation in Fujian and the dynamics of disaster relief work, allocate disaster relief supplies in time according to the needs of the disaster area, and discuss with the Ministry of Finance to arrange disaster relief emergency funds in a timely manner. Emergency rescue scene in Trongdin, Fujian. Party secretary beats gong to wake villagers from early morning. More than 30 officers and soldiers of the local armed police together with more than 300 officials and local people rushed to the scene to rescue and overcome the consequences of natural disasters. Our newspaper reported at 410 a.m. Yesterday, due to the influence of heavy rain and flooding, on the Bashili River in Xiaji village, Kishin town, Changing district, there was a violation. The news that reporters heard from the Provincial Steering Committee for Flood and Storm Control and Drought yesterday. It is known that due to the impact of the Bashili River burst, some houses in Xiaji village, Hishin town were flooded, 301 households and 1,295 people were affected, the maximum water depth is 1.3 meters, and more than 300 mu of agricultural land was flooded. After the danger occurred, more than 30 officers and soldiers of the local armed police together with more than 300 officers and local people rushed to the scene of emergency to rescue and overcome the consequences of the disaster. All affected people were transported safely the first time and there were no casualties. Currently, the flooded houses have been withdrawn. Since most of the houses in the village have a brick concrete structure, most residents have moved in after checking that there are no safety issues in their homes. It is known that from 3 a.m. to 5 a.m., the rainfall in Hishin town is up to 88 mm in two hours. The Bashili River is a tributary of the Jushi River, an upper tributary of the Tingjiang River, and a secondary tributary of the Tingjiang River. When the flood happened, it was around 4 a.m., and I was at the Longyan Flood Control and Drought Relief Headquarters at the time. When I arrived at the scene, more than 300 officers and soldiers of the armed police Officers and the masses join hands to form a human wall, embankment to prevent floods with sandbags that have been built. At 12 noon, due to complicated geological cracks, the foundation was filled with sand, it trained for a while, the newly built embankment was washed away, flooding flooded the village again. 
armed police officers again set up human walls and covered the violation with sandbags. The sandbags are brought up, but the underlying sand layer easily forms gaps due to erosion by water flow. The villagers found the plastic cloth and stuffed it under the sandbag. Finally, the sandbags can be stabilized. By 6 p.m., there was a hole of more than 20 meters. The last two meters left, the current was fast. At this time, no matter how many sandbags the armed policemen drop into the water, the sandbags that have just been placed will be washed away by the water. What must you do? Some people think of a way to find a big basket to put in the hole. People on the shore use zinc wire to tighten the basket. Armed policemen in the water form a human wall, using their bodies to support the basket. Sandbags, and so on. The hole was finally completely sealed around 7.30 p.m. From early yesterday morning, Heavy rain fell on Trongdon district, causing flash floods in the district and causing flash flooding in the district. Rivers rise. Wu Wanlin, party secretary of Yangbei village, Nanshan town, Changing county. When the flood came to Yangbei village yesterday, he worked all night without sleep. It rained heavily all night, so Wu Wanlin sometimes went out with an umbrella and a flashlight to check the water level and the situation on the mountain. Umbrellas can't stop the rain, and Wu Huanlin's clothes will get wet every time he goes out. His clothes were really soaked, so he went home and changed his clothes before continuing to check. In this way, he changed three clothes in one night. We found the river level started to rise around 3 am, Wu Huanlin said. Fearing that the river would overflow into the village, the village committee decided to quickly awaken the sleeping villagers and move them up the mountain. At 3.50 am, Village officials started going from house to house to announce evacuation. Making phone calls, banging gongs and drums, the sleeping villagers finally woke up. Village officials divided the villagers into several roads according to the divided area, each person in charge along the way taking them all up the mountain in batches. At 5.10 am, when the whole village went up the mountain, the flood flooded the village. Fortunately, the move was timely and no one was hurt or injured. Wu Wanlin said, currently the villagers have been resettled to a safe place. After the flood recedes, people will rebuild their homes. Alan Cheng Lai Wai flood in Fujian killed 25 people. Flood in Minjiang second only to 1998 The Minjiang flood is second only to 1998 and more than 7,000 officers and soldiers fought on the front lines of disaster relief since June 3. There have been heavy to very heavy rains in Fujian province and local torrential downpours with the heaviest downpour of 445 mm in Jianyu, Fujian. Affected by it, the Minjiang River in Fujian experienced its second largest flood after 1998. The flood peak water level at Yanfumen Station on the upper Minjiang River was 74.77 meters at 1700 hours on the 7th, 8. 77 meters above the warning water level, and the peak flood discharge at Chuchi Station downstream was 30,600 cubic meters above the water level. Seconds at 2100 hours on 7. Currently the water level has started to drop. Reservoir releases flood ahead of time to reduce danger leaders of the Central Party and State Council attach great importance to the flood prevention work of the Minjiang River and have repeatedly given important instructions on defense work. On the 7th, the main leaders of the Fujian Provincial Party Committee and the provincial government chaired an emergency meeting to study and communicate the guiding spirit of the central leadership comrades, arrange and deploy flood control and rescue, and timely transfer and appropriate resettlement of 356,200 people in threatened areas. The local irrigation and flood control departments have scientifically deployed the discharge gates and other large and medium-sized reservoirs and discharge the storage capacity three days in advance to meet the flood season, giving full play to its role of the reservoir in preventing floods and incredible peaks. Currently, there are no major hazards in the Minjiang River mainstream flood control project. More than 7,000 officers and soldiers went to the front lines affected by heavy rainfall. Many rivers such as the Tingjiang River and the Julong River in the north-central and western parts of Fujian province have exceeded warning water levels and many areas have been severely affected. Over the past few days, more than 7,000 officers and soldiers of the People's Liberation Army, armed police, and reserve militiamen have fought day and night on the front lines against floods, eliminating danger, moving people, checking roads, bridges, railways, 
and key embankments. Floods killed 25 Pia Pli torrential rains and flooding in Fujian in recent days have left 25 people dead and 5 missing. The Ministry of Internal Affairs launched a three-level response at 1700 hours on the 7th and sent a joint disaster relief team to Fujian on the morning of the 8th. According to the relevant person in charge of the Ministry of Civil Affairs, the Ministry of Civil Affairs will pay attention to the disaster situation in Fujian and the development of disaster relief work, timely allocating disaster relief materials according to needs. Needs of the Disaster Area Discuss with the Ministry of Finance in time to arrange emergency fund to overcome the consequences of natural disaster. Heavy rains in Beijing affect nearly 1.29 million people, 33 people die affected by a super typhoon, Beijing suffered a rare torrential downpour in history. Recently Beijing held a press conference on flood control and disaster relief. Due to the flood, the house collapsed. Regarding the cause, five people died due to emergency rescue, 18 people were missing, including one rescuer and disaster relief worker. At the press conference, everyone stood up in silence for the victims. The flood disaster has affected a total of nearly 1.29 million people, 59,500 houses collapsed, 147,000 houses severely damaged and 225,000 acres of crops affected. Currently, the damage is caused by natural disasters. This is still a phase metric, property damage as they are still being counted. Shalin Mao said. During this historic heavy rainstorm in Beijing, the rainfall at three points all exceeded 1,000 millimeters. According to Shalin Mao, from meteorological monitoring data, the rainfall at a single station has exceeded historical extremes. The Wangji Island Reservoir in Champing District received 745 millimeters of rainfall, which is the heaviest rainfall in the 140 years since it was specifically recorded in Beijing. Geological disaster monitoring data recorded higher extreme values, with three points having rainfall over 1,000 millimeters and 51 points having rainfall over 700 millimeters. The average rainfall of the city is 331 millimeters. The rainfall in 83 hours reaches 60% of the annual rainfall in normal years. Torrential rains were mainly concentrated in the western mountainous areas, with an average of 538 mm in Mentugu and 599 mm in Fangshan. Prolonged heavy rains caused floods on the main rivers of the city to increase rapidly, with large amplitudes and peak values. The peak flood discharge at Luguchiao Station of the Yongding River increased from 1,000 cubic meters per second to a peak of 4,650 cubic meters per second in just two hours, which is the largest flood peak since 1925. Dashihi Station's maximum peak flood discharge Manshu Chow is 5,300 cubic meters per second, which is the highest record since actual measurement data is available. Maximum peak flood discharge of 6,200 cubic meters per second at Jiangfang River Juma Station is the second highest on record since actual measurements are available. The flood water volume of these two river sections is equivalent to nine times and four times the heavy rainfall on July 2021, respectively. The torrential rain caused severe natural disasters and the western mountainous areas suffered heavy damage. According to Shaolin Mao, according to preliminary statistics, the city has suffered a total of 369 geological disasters, 10.5 times more than the average number for many years. Torrential rains have seriously damaged mountainous infrastructure. In terms of irrigation works, more than 110 river routes have flooded exceeding standards, more than 280 kilometers of river embankments have been damaged. For medium reservoirs, 13 lakes small reservoir and 16 small reservoirs. Sewers have been damaged to varying degrees. Regarding water supply works, 20 urban and rural water supply plants, 264 rural water supply stations, 18 urban wastewater treatment plants and 363 rural wastewater treatment facilities have been shut down or affected. Enjoy! 2,140 kilometers of drainage pipes were damaged. The water supply of 507 villages was affected. Regarding electrical works, 70 10 kV lines, 1,812 substation areas, more than 9,600 power distribution devices were damaged, causing power outages in 273 villages and 16 residential areas. Regarding communication facilities, 3,188 base stations, 
1367 iron towers and 3146 kilometers of mass roads were damaged, disrupting communications in 342 villages. Regarding means of transport, 93 sections of roads at district level were damaged, 840 sections of rural roads were damaged, and traffic into 56 villages was interrupted. Emergency, urgent repair, urgent connection non-stop, all villages have electricity. Communication is Bakshal and Mao said that after the disaster, the Beijing Municipal Party Committee and Municipal Government did not stop emergency rescue, emergency repair and emergency repair and made every effort to do a good job of four links and a security. Treatment of wounded soldiers, mass resettlement and other disaster relief work. The city has invested more than 3,400 people and 2,400 sets of machinery and equipment to quickly clear the route. After two days of hard work, the entire National Highway 108 and 109 were open to traffic on August 4. All to 56 Dunlock Village is ready for emergency traffic on August 7. Power was quickly restored and the city invested more than 2,400 people, 105 generator wagons and 427 generators for emergency repairs, and by August 4, power supply to 16 communities have been restored. As of 6 p.m. on 8 by 8, except for 9 villages resettled elsewhere, all villages had power back. The water supply was quickly restored, and the city urgently deployed more than 700 professional personnel and more than 70 emergency water sup ply vehicles to complete the emergency repairs of the two main water plants in Fangshanli Anxiang and Mentugu. Shangzi, effectively ensure the water supply to the area. As of 6 p.m. on August 8, all villages have been restored to water supply except for five villages who have been resettled elsewhere through emergency repair of the pipeline system, installation of water purification equipment, and provision of emergency water trucks. Grant Communication was quickly restored, the city carried out basic repairs and emergency measures to restore communications. On August 4, the village's emergency communications were lost. Was finally opened. As of 6 p.m. on August 8, all 342 villages have resumed communication. Allocate and transport more than 840,000 daily necessities and emergency supplies and transport more than 82,000 people in addition, the Beijing Municipal Party Committee and Municipal Government have also taken various measures to reasonably resettle the affected people. As of 1800 hours on August 8, the city has moved more than 82,000 people, using the village committee, schools, gyms, affordable housing and other places to resettle those affected. Provide adequate basic living supplies, medical staff and related drugs for those affected by the disaster to be resettled and provide psychological counseling and other services. Other service. Increase physical security. The city has mobilized and transported more than 840,000 units of 14 categories of daily necessities and emergency supplies. Deployed 64 sorties by helicopter and 66 sorties by drones, transferring a total of about 26 tons of food, drinking water, medicine, and other supplies, basically dealing with natural disasters, the area affected areas the problem of shortage of raw materials. Actively carry out medical examination and treatment and do well in disease prevention after natural disasters. The city sent a medical team of 242 people to Kyrgyz, transported more than 3,000 wounded and sick soldiers, and coordinated 48 experts to guide and support medical examination and treatment in Kyrgyz. Start post-disaster disease prevention work as soon as possible, strengthen surveillance and early warning of infectious diseases and emergency response, and rigorously monitor and disinfect water quality in affected areas affected by natural disasters and ensure that there are no major epidemics after the disaster. Disaster 21,500 houses in Fangshan damaged and collapsed. 200,000 acres of arable land in the area flooded Fangshan district is one of the areas affected by the torrential rain disaster in the capital Beijing, causing the heaviest loss of life and property. According to Zhu Jinsong, secretary of the Fangshan District Party Committee, heavy rains damaged 10 roads at the district level, 230 rural roads, 119 bridges and 77 villages without power. Sections of Highway 108 in Baegu have been washed away by floods, communications in 132 villages have been cut, and water supplies in 218 villages have been cut.
Two 110 kV substations in Liulaihi and Daudian were flooded and could not function properly, causing power outages in 134 villages and 16 communities. 21,500 households and more than 60,000 houses were damaged and collapsed. More than 6,300 vehicles were flooded. 200,000 acres of arable land in the whole area was flooded. 81,000 acres of arable land was reduced, and 33,000 acres of arable land were completely destroyed. Whole? The disaster damage assessment is still underway. Su Jin Song said that after the disaster, Fangshan District used helicopters, drones and other vehicles to search, rescue trap people and deal with dangerous situations in time. Rail. For the villages that lost communication and the roads were interrupted, a detachment was formed to walk in by satellite phone, and all the lost villages were reconnected on the 3rd. August. Departments, departments and units promote emergency repair, find ways to connect electricity, water, and communications to ensure the provision of basic living materials for the people. Currently, Baigu National Highway 108 and Nangu Leiba Road have been opened. All 10 district roads and above and 230 rural roads have been completed, and all 77 Du and Lu villages have been opened. More than 1,400 people, 57 power generating vehicles, and more than 200 small generators have been invested in emergency repair of the urban area and 111 villages that lost power have been officially restored to power. 23 other villages have been restored. Emergency Power Supply Water supply has been restored in urban areas and in rural areas, emergency water supply facilities, backup water use, installation of water purification equipment and provision of water storage tanks have been restored. Apply to meet the basic water needs of the people. Various methods such as satellite phones and drones are used to implement three-level emergency communications at the district town village level. Simultaneously repairing base stations and installing fiber optic cables, 90 village communication base stations were restored, and 42 villages applied emergency restoration. In addition, in order to protect the lives of people in the mountains, more than 4,200 tons of food, water, medicine, communications, lighting equipment, diesel oil and other materials have been transported by various means. Different modes such as rail, highway, air, and manual transportation. Currently, our district has 4,781 people who have been properly resettled at 59 concentrated resettlement sites. Each resettlement site has a working group that does its best to ensure living security, medical services, and mental health. Comfortable management. The rest have returned to relatives or relatives. Friends or return home safely. Su Jin Song said. About 77% of the population in Mentugu district is affected and 40 villages need to be rebuilt this torrential downpour exposed Mentugu county to its most devastating natural disaster, the region's most extensive disaster, and greatest economic damage in recorded history. Yu Wafeng, secretary of Mentugu district party committee, reported that according to preliminary statistics, the affected population in the district is about 310,000 people accounting for about 77% of the district's population. 8,418 houses were damaged and 26,493 houses were severely damaged. Urban and rural roads, electricity, water supply and drainage, communication and other infrastructure a large number of facilities have been damaged. 40 villages throughout the district need to be rebuilt. For example, in the familiar Tonjesi town, 47% of the villages are completely gone. In the town of Wangping, 16 villages and 4 communities are affected and 11 of them need to be rebuilt. Floods cause great damage to people and property. Yu Wafeng said that after the disaster, the whole area was racing against time and trying their best to repair and operate the lifeline. In the face of broken power, water, electricity and communications circuits, we have coordinated with the parties to establish eight strike teams including the Army, Emergency Response, Communications, Power Supply, Full Assault on all the lost villages. At the same time, we tried our best to repair the base damaged foundation. In terms of roads, we have stepped up mud clearance and obstacle removal in urban areas, and accelerated emergency repairs in both directions from Mentugu New City and mountainous Hebe Province. It only takes three days to cross National Highway 108 and National Highway 109, the arterial roads to the mountain, 
ensuring that the rescue work takes place smoothly. Currently, the traffic routes in the area are basic. Rooted. Regarding power supply, the power supply in urban and mountainous areas has been restored to basically restore power supply through city power supply and temporary power supply. In terms of communications, through the temporary laying of fiber optic cables, repair of base stations and the use of various means such as emergency communication aids and mobile backpack stations, basic communication needs of those affected can now be accommodated. Damaged communication towers and physical sites are being urgently repaired to continuously improve communication quality. Regarding water supply, now the whole district has basically been covered with water supply, of which 127 villages are guaranteed temporary water supply through emergency water supply trucks. Repair, strive to restore normal water supply as soon as possible. Complete the repair and reinforcement of damaged houses and restore the self-built houses of rural people to their original state within one year talking about the following disaster recovery and reconstruction work. Shawl and Mouse at the city will make a master plan, and the general idea is to do basic recovery in one year, comprehensive improvement in three years, and achieve sustainable development in the long run. Basic restoration in one year means that it will take approximately one year to remedy the problem, Make basic repairs to irrigation facilities affecting flood control. Complete repairs and strengthen damaged houses and rebuilding the original sites of rural people to build their own houses. Scientifically choose concentrated resettlement areas. Increase traffic. The construction of facilities infrastructure such as infrastructure, energy, telecommunications, and public service facilities such as education, healthcare, and healthcare have basically restored the ability to support before the disaster and ensure that basic livelihoods of the people. Three years comprehensive improvement means that it will take about three years to complete the full disaster recovery and reconstruction work. The disaster prevention and mitigation capacity of disaster areas will be greatly improved. The development capacity of natural disasters the affected areas will be greatly improved and a comfortable living environment will be created for the masses. Long-term sustainable development means focusing on long-term and holistic planning, optimizing the functional layout of disaster-stricken areas, comprehensively improving the level of infrastructure and ensuring basic public services, while constantly improving the quality and efficiency of the economy. Develop. The whole city will adhere to systematic thinking, coordinate development and safety, coordinate building recovery and capacity building, pay attention to repairing damaged infrastructure, scientific planning, start reconstruction after disaster as soon as possible and do everything possible to restore normal order of production and daily life of affected people so that people can live a safer, more comfortable, a better, more livable new home. Currently, the city has systematically categorized the needs for restoration and reconstruction of water damage infrastructure such as water supply, transportation, electricity and communications, and developed a plan for the Restoration and Reconstruction Project Implementation Promotion Plan and the Fund Guarantee Plan. Clarify the main work tasks and coordinate and promote the rapid implementation of restoration and reconstruction work. Shal and Mausad. The recent information concludes our new bulletin. Thank you all for your attention and viewership. If you have any contribution, to the program, please leave your comment below or write to us. On behalf of the entire team, I thank you for watching. Goodbye for now and see you again.